my screen. Hi, Stephen Johnson here from Teach OSM Project. I Three short things I want to talk about this morning, this afternoon rather. Um, the educational case for OpenStreetMap, um, a little bit about the Teach OSM project and uh, how you can contribute to this. So um, I want to make the assertion right at the outset here that um, OpenStreetMap is the best, if not one of the best teaching tools for geography, as well as um, amplifying other subjects. And uh, Here's six short reasons why, and I'm not going to read all of these. I just want to focus on two bullets on this slide here. One is the second bullet here that it complements other subjects. It's We often talk about geography being the great integrator, and um, this is no exception here. Um, open street mapping can complement a lot of other things within the social sciences and environmental sciences. Second thing I want to call attention to is the very last bullet in there about tools and processes for cultivating spatial citizenship. By spatial citizenship, I mean the explicitly spatial dimensions of participating in a civil society. So when you map, you are essentially engaging as a public citizen and contributing to a public good. And this is an important function because we not only need to train the next generation of mappers to maintain all of this open street map infrastructure, but more importantly, we need to educate students in the ethical use of geospatial information. So um, who are we? Um, well, we are a charter project of the OpenStreetMap US. The little asterisk up there is to indicate that um, we are having a birds of the feather tomorrow to discuss uh, the new charter and charter projects and what it means to you. Um, but we do a lot of our work uh, by reaching teachers. Teachers are the key, um, the, the key to um, maintaining our, our you know, what we do. And um, a lot of what we do is um, workshops and developing content. Those are the mass, that's the largest uh, aspect of our external facing um, activities. And then of course, there's all of the um, overhead that goes with maintaining the projects like the website and, and um, communications and things like that. Um, the current activities that we're, um, that we're undertaking at the moment here is a lot of workshops. Um, we're happy that um, through the OpenStreetMap US um, affiliation, we are able to offer um, professional development credit for teachers, as well as service learning credit for students. And I think that's a big part of education now. Both of those, uh, both of those um, components are, uh, are an increasingly um, vital part of the educational workspace. Um, we, like everyone else, have transitioned to online events in lieu of in-person events. Um, we recently, um, Maggie and uh, Celeste Reynolds recently participated at a workshop at the Grace Hopper Conference. Um, I've been hosting weekly mappy hours for educators and have started a four-part uh, open mapping boot camp for educators to get them started in mapping. Um, we've got a website refresh underway where we're posting a lot more of our resources and a lot more projects. So if you're a teacher and you want a home for your open mapping project, we can provide that for you. And lastly, we're in the process of transitioning uh, finally from uh, Tasking Manager 3 to Tasking Manager 4 with the help of the uh, fine folks at Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. I'd like to think um, in terms of our project impact that we've trained, um, this is conservative estimate, that we've trained about 500 teachers so far, which I think translates to at least 1,000 students trained in open mapping. I know that we've got about 24 projects launched. In other words, these are teachers who have undertaken open mapping projects in their classroom uh, at least once, if not, uh, if not twice. We are hosting about 1,000 projects right now on the Teach OSM task. Tasking manager, the largest portion of those um, tend to be um, open mapping, I mean, tend to be educational projects. Um, here's an example of uh, one of those projects that uh, one of our teachers, Celeste Reynolds, has undertaken. Um, she had a student who uh, undertook it to organize a humanitarian mapathon at her high school. Uh, in Mashpee, Massachusetts, and uh, I see some pictures there of things that are happening, just high school students engaged in mapping. Um, we would not be as successful as uh, we are if it had not been for our partners. Um, we do maintain two formal partnerships with the American Geographical Society, as well as with the Geotech Center, which serves uh, community colleges. 
Um, largely, they act as kind of extensions for our programming, both as conveners and um, also they um, complement our instruction. So we, um, we fill the open mapping need that they, um, that they don't supply. So um, at this point, you're thinking, uh, this is great, uh, Steve. Uh, how do I get on board? How do I contribute with this stuff? So um, a lot of you are mappers. And um, so I would encourage you to um, reach out to um, teachers, librarians, and other kindred spirits in your community to um, the greatest thing that you have to offer is your expertise, your mapping insight. And um, so please um, reach out in your community to the teachers there um, who may be teaching geography or other allied subjects and see how you can integrate. If you're a teacher, um, we welcome you to um, help us to integrate open mapping within the cadence of your instruction, whether that be in unit modules or when they're teaching um, after, after school clubs, things like that. Um, we, you Steven, oftentimes- I have to jump in there. I'm sorry, you're over time. I mean, okay, all righty. And then, yep, wrap it up. Sorry, this is our last one. <laughs> Okay, so join us tomorrow at 2.30.